Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Becky. And on this episode, I've got one from, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Carbotch out in Houston. And this is the Crawford Bach. Now, my buddy Jeff brought me this from uh, Texas when he came back to visit. And so I had to look it up a little bit. And the Crawford Bach is for the Crawford Boxes. And it's those seats that are back there behind that 315 foot uh, uh, thing. It's like 18 feet tall and it's where you hit the home run. And so it's this thing for the uh, Astros. And well, it's a box and I dig box and Becky digs box and the logo, all the, uh, you know, it looks good. It's got a sweet cap. I've got a couple of them. So Becky gets this cap. For her collection. Becky likes box. I do. And this is another one of those where I got my buddy. There you go. Let's see if I'm uh, it's good with this one as I was up. Nope. Nope. I got my buddy that lives out in Texas. When he was coming back, I said, hey, I got money on it. Grab me some beers that I won't get. And this is one of them. So this is from Houston. What do we got here? Four or five. It says a home run every time. Let's find out. Okay, first off, that's kind of a light colored box. But not too light. I'm digging it. I'm a box fan, though. And Becky's a big box fan. Okay. It's a pretty label. Holy cow. I want you to smell that. I want to see if the camera will pick up what I smell on your face. That's got a lot of malt in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and like so toasted. That is. Um... Does it almost smell like pecans? I'm afraid to like put my nose any farther in it because I'm just going to be like right up my nose. I don't want to put beer. Up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to drink this separately in case I have to zoom in on anybody. Let's see. Sneak in. Oh, wow. Um, um, wow. Uh, <laughs> That's malty. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting that. Yeah. Um, it's really smooth. It's crisp. Let's see. Let um, Let me see what I got. I'm, I'm having a hard time putting words to this one. It's good. Disturbingly drinkable. Yeah. The malt content is super high but it's not overly sweet it has a nice finish with a lingering caramel are you getting a caramel or kind of like a toffee i guess this the the toasted mm. so that might be the oh excuse me the 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 caramel -ier. Hmm. Nutty. I don't know, man. Now, it says that I've got a month or two on the Best Buy on it. Um, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying this. This is a, uh, well, you know, this would be good with a bratwurst and some popcorn at the game. Damn it, COVID. I miss baseball. I was thinking the loaded weird fries that we get with the gravy and the cheese and the... Yeah. This would be good at the baseball game. Um, apparently, part of the proceeds for this beer goes to some charities. Uh... I would drink it if it didn't. Yep. Uh, he told me I would like it. 
Uh, he was very right. Thank you, Jeff. Um, man, it's good. The yeah. drinkability is through the roof on this. And at four or five, good thing, because I could drink a boatload of it. Really? Literal boatload. Hey, here's the other thing. I'm not, the, the aftertaste is not, not bad. No. It, it's a very pleasant aftertaste. Yes. Um, I would say this is not as sweet as some of the box that I've had recently. I can't say when the last time I drank a Bach was, because I've been hitting them stouts and porters pretty hard and heavy this summer, so... Uh, sorry, guys. Well, now, Bachs are a, a traditional German style, and there was a lot of Germans that settled in Texas, so... Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy with this beer. Yes. All right. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's talk about it down there in the comments. If you look over there, you can hit subscribe and like and ring the bell because I do it three times a week. We talk about beer. We drink beer. We have a lot of fun with beer. But now let's get down to the ratings. Did you dig it? Yes. I did. Would you have another? Yes. I might be able to arrange this for you. Okay. Um, cool. If I don't drink them too fast. Uh, six pack worthy? Yes. I would say yes. Put some in a six pack and a pick six if you get a chance. Uh, what do you rate this? One to ten. Eight. I'd honestly have to see the price point to make a complete decision, but knowing that I gave my buddy uh, some cash, told him, bring me some good stuff. He brought this. Yeah, it's an eight. Holy cow, guys. That's like beer number five. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks a lot, Jeff. To your next beer adventure. Thanks, Jeff. Cheers. Cheers.